discuss there is no debit side there is no credit side on the left hand side we reflect all our liabilities we reflect or we show all our liabilities on the left hand side of this format which we prop which we call as liability side so remember liability show which balance liability show credit balance liability show credit balance and similarly on the right hand side which is called as asset side we represent or show all the assets remember assets show debit balance assets show debit balance and liability show credit balance now based on the basic categorization of accounts you have done already trading and pnl you have seen all nominal accounts are shown in trading and pnl then the left over we have personal accounts personal and real accounts are shown in balance sheet most of the liabilities are personal accounts most of the liabilities are personal accounts and when a personal account shows credit balance you always show it on the liability side similarly most of the assets majority are real accounts so real accounts showing debit balances are shown on the asset side similarly there are few personal accounts which come on the debit side so if a personal account is showing debit balance they will be shown on the asset side they will be shown on the asset side so with this basic understanding you need you can prepare the balance sheet however let us see little more about what balance sheet has to say now in a way in a balance sheet you enter your items according to either order of permanency or order of liquidity so we write the balance of liabilities either according to order of liquidity or order of permanency this arrangement of assets or liabilities in the balance sheet either according to liquidity or permanency liquidity or permanency now this arrangement of assets according to order of liquidity or order of permanency is called as is called as marshalling what is marshalling of balance sheet marshalling of balance sheet means arrangement of assets it is arrangement of assets or liabilities according to order of liquidity or order of permanency now let us see what is order of liquidity what is order of liquidity liquidity means the ability of an asset to get easily converted into cash so all the assets which are in the cash form or near cash form are return on top so usually we start with cash then we go further bank and the most illiquid asset let us say property that is land building etc are return at the end this is called as order of liquidity then coming to the liability side we start with similarly bank overdraft etc and end the last item as capital exactly opposite is the order of permanency exactly opposite is the order of permanency that means your goodwill or properties etc the most fixed assets come on top and cash comes towards the end similarly capital comes on the top and the other things follow as usual the format of liquidity on permanency is given on page 230 and 231 so please check on 230 you have order of liquidity on page 231 you have order of permanency